Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Tuesday, June 9th, 1 a.m. Mountain Time, 2020. Well, I should say good morning. You're looking at the current GFS models. They're showing heavy snow in Colorado over the next 12 hours. This is going to break some records. Keep calm. It's boom time. Snow in June. Take a look at the photos of Idaho's historic weekend weather. This guy, look at the look at his mug. He is very concerned. Let me turn on the video. There I am. Where are my shades? It is bright in here. Oh, there I go. Blocking the blue. Ron Abramovich with the National Resource Conservation Service knows his water. And he knows how to touch his pole. Take a look. The National Weather Service in Pocatello said it hasn't issued a winter weather product in June in the last 15 years. That's his big statement. Winter in June is snow much fun, <laughs> quote unquote. And so winter in June is snow much fun. We haven't issued a winter weather product in 15 years in Pocatello, whatever. In Boise, the National Weather Service said it has only snowed a few times in June over the past two decades. Tamarack Ski Resort had 17 inches. Bogus Basin had eight. And Brundage had 15 inches of snow, according to the Boise Weather Service. It's June, and it looks like, well, January, to be quite honest. Rare weather system brings mountain snow and 50-degree temperature swing to Utah. That's our daily weather here. But in a grand solar minimum world, while the sun is shutting down, some Utah mountains have seen significant June snowfall as the rare, yeah, no one has ever predicted this. No one could have known. As a rare weather system caused a 50 degree swing over the weekend, at least 8 to 12 inches of snow had fallen in Alta ski area by mid-morning Monday, which was a fun day, according to the Wasatch snow forecast. Pretty awesome. Watching our predictions come true anyway. Rare June snow, freezing temperatures in parts of Nevada. Trace of snow at Elko on Sunday tied a 41-year-old record at Winnemucca, reported its first snow ever, 0.2 inches. For the date, since record keeping began in 1877, Winnemucca broke a, a record going back 145 years. And who knows if it ever snowed in Winnemucca, ever, before that. No one even knows when it snowed then. Up to an inch of rain fell Sunday in parts of Reno. Can you believe what's happening with the weather? I can. Snow, yes. Snow may follow severe fire danger in southern Colorado today. I think some fires are lit. It was getting hazy. I was out at sunset, and it did not look like the bluebird sky. But let's talk about some more records going to be smashed tomorrow. And this is in Colorado, Denver specifically. Latest recorded snowfalls for Denver in northern Colorado. The latest recorded snowfall was the 5th of June. And when we show you the models, they're about to get buried. Denver's latest snowfall was measured on June 2nd, 1951. It's now June 8th, and it's going to be snowing there on the 9th. It's the 9th, actually. The city has seen trace snowfall as late as June 12th which occurred in 1947, but they're going to get measurable snow here. In Boulder, the latest snowfall on record is June 12th in 1947. Same for Fort Collins. Greeley's latest snowfall on record was measured May 20th. They're going to be buried. <laughs> Wait till you see the models. Now let's first check the snowfall analysis for the last 48 hours, just a week and a half before summer. And you can see that region of Idaho that got pummeled here with 18 inches or more. A huge swath. Maybe 100 square miles. Montana, the mountains of Oregon, Washington, the Olympics, northern Nevada, Utah picking up a foot, Wyoming picking up a foot. And then tomorrow, Colorado picking up 16 up in the steamboat region. Take a look at the snowfall totals. And it doesn't stop there. More snow is coming. Look at the snow up in Saskatchewan here. 
That would be June 14th and 15th and 16th. Three to four feet right before summer. Now let's talk about the flooding in Cristobal. Let's watch a video. Shall we? Most of the homes were built on stilts in these regions, and that's because they're preparing for what's inevitable. And, and we reported the areas that we warned the, in the last several days are the areas that got hard hit. Tropical Storm Cristobal could now regain strength by combining with a new storm system after drenching the south. And this is the front that came through here, bringing the snow we just showed you. It's going to meet up with Cristobal somewhere up here near Indiana. <laughs> I can't even make this up. I didn't even look at this video. It might be blurry. So let's see what they say. All right, Fox News overnight. Cristobal has been downgraded to a tropical depression, pushing its way across Louisiana, packing strong yeah. winds and rain, of course, but sparking several reported tornadoes, never good, across Alabama and Colorado. GOP uh, Congressman, Louisiana Congressman, I should say, House Minority Whip himself, Steve Scalise, joins us now. Steve, is it safe to say that you guys... How did... They just made weather political? Oh, my God. What's happening? All right, we're done with that. So here's your potential rainfall totals for the next 48 hours of powers. You're looking at two to four inches, six in some areas of northern Nebraska. This is going to cause flash flooding as it moves up as saturated mid-continent. And let's see what the weather.gov site says here. We are Weather Ready Nation ambassadors for NOAA. That's almost like a ruse or a joke. <laughs> That's how much homework they do. Crystal ball continues to, as a threat for heavy rainfall, flooding tornadoes, fire weather, and strong winds west of its track. Take a look at the colors here. It's amazing. You can see that strip. That's the direction crystal ball is going to go up and turn around as an, a front that came through here moves through here. We have freeze warnings, winter storm watches, high wind warnings, hydraulic outlooks. Flash flood watches, flood warnings, storm surge, everything. Tropical depression crystal ball is expected to accelerate north, northeast through Midwest and Western Great Lakes into Wednesday morning. Crystal ball will continue to produce heavy rain, which may produce flash flooding and isolated significant river flooding with a few tornadoes. We heard tornado, tornadoes are being reported currently. So there's that. And South Africa, severe cold front heading towards the Western Cape. Residents were warned. Were they warned of the grand solar minimum? I doubt it. Seismic update. No quakes of note. We had a, the most significant quake kicking off just seconds ago, 5.6 in Indonesia at the 10 kilometer surficial region. But quakes in general have quieted down worldwide, thankfully. But we are in that fine angle zone, so be wary. And we also have a sunspot. Very rare at this deep minimum. We actually have a sunspot on the Earth, and you're looking at it. It is almost Earth-facing, so we're going to be watching it closely for any output. It is putting out B flares currently. It put out an M flare four, five days ago, a C flare just a day ago, and we're getting some B flare activity. So we're going to keep a close eye on it. KP index actually was pushed into geomagnetic instability at uh, KP4 just about 24 hours ago. Actually, 29 hours ago, if you want to be specific. But let's take a look at the spot again on the magnetogram. Here you can see the plage up here, 2764, broke apart, as does during solar minimums. We see a decrease in the spot activity as it turns earth-facing. That's called earth-facing quiet. But this spot seems to be a little bit more sustainable. And it is actually developed into beta category. And beta ca category means that you have a mixing of uh, 
negative red, positive blue. So you have a polarity, beta. Both polarities equally mixed and separated. Alpha would be a single polarity. We'll get to that at the end of the video. Here's a close-up of that spot. And this would be 2765 AR 12765. And here you can see there is actually an umbra and a penumbra. And if we put the size of planet Earth up against this sunspot, it would probably be a fit inside of that hole. That's how big of a tiny little spot it is. Now, some of these sunspots during solar max can get like the size of 100 Earths. So if you think this is exciting, just buckle, buck, buckle your seatbelts for the next three years because it's going to get pretty jiggy. Now, as far as the magnetic class of sunspots is concerned, I want to go over that with you real quick so you can get up to speed. Here are the types, alpha, beta, gamma, beta, gamma, delta, beta, and beta, gamma with a delta configuration. Increasing complexity as you go down the list. So alpha would be a single polarity spot, usually negative red. Beta would be a bipolar spot configuration with negative red, positive blue. Gamma would be a typical mixture of polarities where you have a positive and negative with some smaller spots interspersed and so on and so forth. So I'll leave you links to all this. This comes from Solar Ham. We're talking about Sunspot Region 2765 AR12765. You can watch the 48-hour uh, movie. When I clicked on it, I didn't get you. So there's that. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. But the booms of knowledge keep coming. And my face is really big, and I'm sure you're bumming that I've just shrunk myself down into mini-me. Proper prior planting prevents piss-poor performance. Or have you planted a seed? I don't care what zone you're in. There's always a time to plant a seed. You could be growing sunflowers. You could be growing amaranth. You could be growing sorghum. If you live in zone 8 or greater, you could plant corn. You could plant squash. You could plant tomatoes. You could plant peppers, eggplants, okra. Did I just say that? I don't know. Well, times are changing. We've been warning about this since the inception of the channel. It's all unfolding. It's up to you to do the right thing. The most important thing you can do is help grow our subscriber base by sharing this video. Share it on your social media. Share it on your Twitter box. Share it on BitChute. Steal it and put it back up. Just don't do it on YouTube. And be safe. We love you. Thanks for watching.